to our Fun Artifact Friday series. I'm Shaylin. And I'm Dania. And today is National Vinyl Records Day, and you can't play a record without a record player. So today we will be showcasing a record player from our collection. Let's check it out. The history of vinyl records dates back to 1857, when a French inventor created a device called a phonograph. A phonograph was a device that used a vibrating pen to graphically represent sounds on a small paper disc. Then, in 1878, Thomas Edison created a device that could play recorded sounds. Finally, over 10 years later, Emil Berliner revolutionized the concept of listening to music in the comfort of your own home and created the gramophone. Emil Berliner's major breakthrough, the turntable, was mechanized and designed to spin the record with the help of a direct drive system or belt. As the record disc spins, a needle reads the grooves. The needle was set at one end of the tone arm, which is located on the side of the turntable, parallel to the vinyl. The arm moves across the vinyl as the needle follows the grooves. The needles were usually made out of a hard material, such as diamond or sapphire. In 1895, the first record player was mass produced. It was incredibly popular until the introduction of the radio. While the radio didn't exactly make the record player obsolete, it did take away the spotlight for several years. In the 1930s and the 1940s, turntables sold well, but they didn't really become mainstream until approximately 20 years later. In the 1960s and the 1970s, the turntable was back on the map with the first model that was released that could provide stereo playback. This caused thousands of people to purchase a turntable of their own. The automatic turntable was also a big hit in the 1960s. In the 1980s and 1990s, Hip-hop DJs found a new way to use turntables by connecting audio mixers and using their hands to scratch the vinyl against the stylus in order to produce a totally new sound. Today, record players are less popular due to music streaming services and more convenient methods of at-home listening. However, modern record players are still being produced and sold, and many individuals still enjoy vinyl records for their novelty and sophisticated feel. Here we have a record player from the 1970s. The machine is on a dark brown tear-shaped plastic base and the turntable fits into a specially made slot. The mount for the arm is up at the point of the tear and the on-off switch is at the front. Above the switch is written General Electric in gold lettering. On the back right hand side is a partially torn gold label containing the model and style number. And that concludes our Fun Artifact Friday. Now you're one fact smarter. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week.